One hot August afternoon, just after the end of W2, my mum and Aunt Helen took me downtown on a bus to a department store having a circus sale. The pink lemonade was free. All you could drink. As we waited for the bus, my mother innocently asked me, David, what would like more than anything else in the world? My father was still in Europe. Without any forethought, I said, I want to see a penguin. My mother rolled her eyes and said, Now, David, you must realize that penguins only live at the South Pole. At age four, I couldn't differentiate the South Pole from the moon. But I was adamant I wanted a penguin. Aunt Helen, a living saint now in heaven, had a solution. Let's pray for a penguin. My mother had this look on her that spoke silently. What the heck are you promising, Helen? Aunt Helen persisted. No, let's pray. I'm sure enough you will see a penguin. Didn't matter that it was 93 degrees. We closed our eyes and prayed hard for penguins. When I opened my eyes, I looked across the street and there pulled up a station wagon. Out of it came five men and a driver. All of them were dressed in penguin outfits going into a photography studio for a Michelob beer commercial. For years, my mum and I both agreed. You pray and miracles happen. For us, some story by David Dodd. Sometimes we may overlook the presence of God in our everyday lives. However, it is essential to cultivate a mindset that seeks and recognizes God in all things. This encourages us to develop a growing awareness that God can be found in every person, every place and everything. As we learn to be more attentive to God's presence, we become more appreciative and reverent. This heightened awareness leads to a deeper devotion to God and a stronger love for our Creator. By actively seeking and recognizing God's handiwork in our lives, we can experience a richer spiritual connection. In essence, the idea is to open our hearts and minds to observe the divine in all aspects of our existence. Through this practice, we can cultivate an attitude of gratitude and wonder that deepens our relationship with God. Psalm 14.2, the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Psalm 14.2 reminds us that the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind. It highlights the Lord's desire to see if there are any who understand and seek God. This verse emphasizes the importance of seeking a relationship with God and striving to understand His ways. By seeking God, we open ourselves to His guidance, wisdom and love. It is a reminder that God is always aware of our actions, thoughts and desires. He is interested in knowing if we are sincerely seeking Him and trying to understand His ways. This verse encourages us to cultivate a heart that seeks after God, not only for personal benefit, but also for a deeper connection with our Creator. It reminds us that God desires us to willingly seek Him and develop a relationship based on love, trust and obedience. As we study the Bible and reflect on verses like Psalm 14:2, we can use them as a catalyst for introspection and growth in our faith. They remind us to examine our hearts and actively seek a greater understanding of God's character and His will for our lives. Where can I find God? One, often we tend to associate God with grand events, miracles and extraordinary moments. We search for God in the big and spectacular. However, Ignatian spirituality teaches us to recognize God's presence in the ordinary moments of everyday life as well. Two, though it may seem that God is hidden in the simplicity of daily routines, actively looking for Him, and everything helps us cultivate a sensitivity to God's presence and grace, even in the smallest matters of life. 3. It is important to note that we can also encounter God in the midst of hardships and painful experiences. 4. If we believe that God is present in all times and places, then we can engage with God through prayer in those very same spaces and moments. 5. Additionally, God can be discovered in one another, in the image of the Creator that we are each made in. This can be especially evident through acts of compassion, joy, hope, love and mercy. Finding God is not solely restricted to extraordinary occurrences, but is a journey that encompasses the everyday, the difficult, prayer and the beauty found in our interactions with one another. Definition of a Christian, a person who believes in Jesus Christ and follows his teachings. Christ-like, let people see the Jesus that lives in you. Thank you for watching. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne in the precious name of Jesus. With hearts full of gratitude, we honor you and give thanks for your unending grace and mercy. At times, we may become so engrossed in the hustle of daily life that your divine presence subtly fades into the background. We strive often in vain 
to navigate life's challenges independently, occasionally forgetting to seek your guidance. Yet we beseech you, O Lord, to instill within us the wisdom to prioritize you above all else. Grant us the strength to embody the essence of Christianity, not merely as believers of Christ's word, but as active practitioners of his teachings. May we be authentic ambassadors of your love, reflecting the light of Christ in our actions and deeds. We pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that we might truly represent you in a manner that is pleasing in your sight. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.